Hey friends, this is Oliver with DIY Auto Detailing Supplies powered by Croftgate USA. It is a hot Saturday afternoon here in LA, but uh, I've got a lot of customers that are always wondering, curious, what's the best way to wash their vehicle? Um, quite honestly, my answer is always going to be the best way to wash your vehicle is what makes you feel comfortable and what makes your wallet uh, feel comfortable. All of our products are water-based, there's no petroleum, no silicone. Uh, we also offer a variety of ways to wash your vehicle. So let me show you one way today, uh, but just to briefly touch on it, um, we have a thick foam wash. Uh, for those of you that love to see the foam, love to use a pressure washer, so there's a thick foam. If you don't have a lot of time uh, or access to water, this is really popular with people that live in apartment buildings. Uh, we have an Aquanil, which is a waterless wash. It does not contain any wax in it. Um, and then we also have an Aquanil X, which is a waterless wash with a wax. Now again, remember our products don't have traditional waxes in it, so the wax that's in here is really a polymer. It's gonna give you that wax type of sealant and shine, but it's not really all that uh, nasty gook. On the uh, Toyota Camry behind me, what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna use our wash and wax. This is an eight ounce bottle. Uh, we're only need to use one to two capfuls depending on the severity of the dirt of the vehicle. This vehicle is never garaged, it always sits outside. Uh, we've had some California fires, we've had some nice heat waves, uh, lots of beautiful California sun. So this has been sitting in the sun, it's not ceramic coated. I admit I have washed it in the past with uh, these products, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a demonstration today. So we're gonna wash it with a capful of washing wax. We're gonna treat the tires with Tire Shine Plus. I'm also gonna spray the rims with Tire Shine Plus and wipe that off. Puts a nice little coating on the rim, gives it a shine, makes it easier to clean off. In a little while, we'll zoom in and take a look at all that filth on it, uh, so you can see. And then we're gonna top everything off with our Endure XXL. Our Endure XXL is a semi-permanent surface protection that provides a deep shine. Um, it's gonna protect the vehicle's paint surface for a good three months here in LA. I think uh, I like to apply it every three months. I know in other parts of our country, uh, some of our distributors and customers are using it uh, a little longer, but it all depends. We're also gonna use only four towels today. I'm, I've got a waffle weave uh, that I use to wash the vehicle. I got a, this nice plush uh, towel that doesn't have any edges. I use this as a buffing to remove and dry off and then polish in that uh, polymers that are in the wash and wax. I've got this microfiber cloth that I'm going to use to apply the Endure XXL and rub that into the paint. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this old microfiber cloth to apply the Tire Shine Plus. It's nice to use color-coded towels, but you really don't have to. You can go to your local big box store or you know Amazon or any online retailer and grab some towels from them. You always want to make sure that they are traditional and true microfiber cloths. Um, what I like to do, as you can see here, this has got some stains on it. It's a clean towel, but it's got some stains. And what helps me distinguish what is not allowed to be touching the paint or the glass is I cut an edge off. Um, as you can see, this, this corner has been snipped off. So anytime I find a towel that's in my uh, closet or my cupboard that has an edge missing, then I know that this is actually good and it should only be applied on rims and tires, never to touch glass or paint. To take that a step further, I don't know if you can see it, maybe we'll step by over there. I got a little washing machine. When I wash my towels, I actually keep them separated. I will only wash uh, you know, these towels with the corner cut off by themselves. I rinse the washing machine out, then I go ahead and wash all my other towels. So you wanna keep them as segregated as possible, keeping the contaminants away from each other. Let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, I'm just gonna take a uh, cap full of water, uh, wash and wax. I got a gallon of water here. You can use room temperature water, you can use cold water, you can use hot water, it doesn't really matter. Um, whatever works best for you and your hands can handle. As you can see, I'm under direct sun. Uh, there's no need to stay in the shade when you're working with Crofkit USA products. I forgot to do because I was 
was just too excited. I like to apply the Tire Shine Plus. When I put the Tire Shine Plus first, it allows it to penetrate into the rubber, give me a longer lasting shine. So I'll apply the Tire Shine Plus on each of the tires. Let the cloth and the moisture do the work for you. Right? Look at this, the first pass, I'm just taking off that first few layers of dirt. I don't mind pushing the dirt around because I'm gonna come back and wipe it off. So that's my dirty side, right? I still have this clean side. I can use this clean side The next layer of dirts. Dirts. Dirt is already singular and plural, isn't it? So now that was my second pass. There's one of those stubborn bird poops or tree sap, so apply a little extra pressure. Allow that moisture to really hydrate it. All right, she's looking pretty good. That surface is looking really nice. I mean, that's a dirty surface over there. Now, one of the things that I did do on this vehicle, I will admit, right? There's no magic, no transparent, uh, to be and to be completely transparent. I've clay barred this car once, but again, this is vehicle has never been ceramic coated. I don't even know when I'm gonna ceramic coat it. Um, but the, all that dirt is all on this microfiber cloth right there. Waffle weave will tend to hold a little more moisture than a regular cloth. So, even though the surface was somewhat dry after the heat, you still want to wipe it down with your drying cloth because you want to get rid of those streaks. You want to rub in the polymers so that you have that nice, coating over there. Ah, so clean. I always save the rocker panels to last because that's where it's got the most amount of dirt on it. I really don't want to put that stuff on this towel while I'm working on the rest of the vehicle. So I always save that for last. All 
right. Let's take a quick walk. So that's our water. Let's put it in the sun. See just how dirty it is. Definitely got the dirt off and the shine back. Now let's go ahead and put some Endurex XL on it. The Endurex XL, as with any product, go ahead and shake bottle first. Again, remember, scratches come from lack of lubrication and too much direct pressure. The vehicle's clean at a microscopic level. It could probably use a polish, and definitely the Assurance 2.0 ceramic coating. But we're gonna go ahead and apply this uh, in Direct XL. So I'm gonna spray a couple of spritz on my cloth, a couple of spritz on the vehicle. So we just applied it here. It's not moving. Let's uh, So there's our line, right? The bottle is right there. We're going to go ahead and apply in direct XL put the bottom in the same spot so at that microscopic level it's actually sealing in some of those open pores nooks and crannies if you will to give us that hydrophobic property So our tire has it, you can see the sheen. And then I take this and I just give it a little liberal spray. Oh, I should have put the camera on the other side, I'm right handed. Just rub it into the tire. And that's it, folks. It's the power of Croftgate USA. Visit my website, DIYAutoDetailing.Supplies for all of your Croftgate needs.